pretty crazy. So at least it's sort of basically working at this point. Um, I don't have any thread loaded, but I'll show you the basic example. So the rollers back here just kind of keep the strings at tension. And this problem is happening right now. Why is this string rotate? It's so bad. Whatever. I'll this. Got a basic example working. There's a couple problems right now. Such as these have to be lifted up in order for things to get through smoothly. And that happens. <laughs> so basically, this isn't going up right now. Oh, no. oh, seems like my clutch gear is failing. Oh, wait. Oh, frick. So, this is the current state of the loom. I don't have the string connected to it because I uh, don't feel like I'm in it. So the, the rollers in the back keep tension on the strings so that um, they're good and tensioned. And this is the problem right now, is the strings aren't wide enough. Really. Quite unfortunate indeed. Okay, so this is my second design, well, recent design, that um, is almost working good. I have implemented tires instead of gears, allowing for a smaller thing, but it's not really smaller for reasons. Um, but I put this part closer here, that way the strength will be wider. So that's good. And we'll see how it goes. So the string is a bit too tight here. Yeah. So it's not pushing this down well enough because this is actually kind of stuck here. Okay, I guess that was just actually clogged. Okay, so now that's unclogged. You can get the idea of how it's supposed to work, but this is not pressing hard enough. And also the switches decide to break out sometimes because pressure. Fun. <laughs> I finally did it. This is the design that's, I think, the first one that's really working reliably. So uh, check it out. The tensioning, as always, this time reinforced from the top, the way it doesn't die. Um, this is on a linear slider, these are the tires, well I guess I'll just show you. Yeah, it's got a bit of an issue that I will have to work out, but yeah.
of any of this. You like that? But, oh, that's cool. But yeah, check that out. So, the loom is fully working and reliable now. I have used a printer motor for the this part because I didn't want to fashion another power functions adapter for the RCX and I only have one RCX motor. So now I have power functions motor for this part, RCX motor for this, and printer motor for this. So for all three motors are very different kinds. Uh, so yeah. Working very good now. And that's pretty much it. Have a good one. Okay, so not only have I upgraded to 11 string, but I have tried plugging it in, and that makes it way faster. So let's check this out. Pretty crazy.